Hey guys, welcome back to Heidi's house. This is my second video of the day. Ah, uh, I was just saying in my last video that I was waiting for a package to come from Jack Rogers uh, of the new um, Jacks in the color blush. Absolutely stunning. I'm a big fan of Palm Beach Sandals and Jack Rogers. I live in the South um, in tropical climate and I can wear that type of shoe uh, 12 months out of the year. Um, if you're not familiar with Jack Rogers or Palm Beach Sandal, you can Google them, but primarily they are a, a nice flat. They do make wedges and they make all sorts of other type of um, shoes at this point, um, but their classic is the one that Jack Yo, um, President Kennedy's wife, had made classic. And they can, they're kind of preppy, but they can be dressed up, they can be dressed down, um, and they last forever. Uh, my Palm Beach sandals, these are my oldest ones. I got them in 2002. 2002, so they're what, 18 years old? That's crazy. Um, and there are distinct differences between Jack Rogers and the Palm Beach sandal. Um, so if you'd like me to do a review on the difference between the two, let me know and I'll be more than happy to. Shoes are one of my favorite things. Um, although I'm very mindful on what I purchase um, and quality over quantity where I used to be uh, quantity and I didn't care. So that's not so much anymore, but I will do a review on the difference between or comparison on the two. I do like to have both in rotation. So, here is the box. It came in this box. And full disclosure, I actually had already ordered this sandal. And I am a true, true five and a half. I am a mature, petite, short female. And I have a uh, very small, flat, kind of, I wouldn't say, it like narrow to medium foot. They're not wide at all. Um, and department stores, like um, like general stores, like Target, anything like that, they stop carrying five and a half. You can't find them. So for someone who's petite like me, it is you can't find shoes out anymore. I know Nordstrom's Nordstrom's carries small sizes, um, and probably some of the higher, the upscale other department stores do. Um, but I very rarely shop at um, the upscale stores. A lot of my stuff I get at thrift. Um, and boutiques will carry them. However, so I did order a five and a half in these and they shipped rather fast. They came, I, I got them right from the company and I got them and all my jacks are in a five and a half as well as my Palm Beach sandals. They were huge. They weren't wide, the width was fine, but the instep, the the, um, the instep as far as the flap that comes over your foot was r really wide. It, it was um, my foot. So my foot was flopping around and there was no, it didn't feel comfortable at all. I was really shocked. It was the first time that had ever happened. So I, you know, they're rather expensive. They're, they run around anywhere from 118 and if you can grab them on sale you can get them anywhere from like 60 to 88 dollars and i did grab these on sale but i'm not going to keep a shoe that i spend that much money on that doesn't fit me uh jack rogers will mold to your foot the whole purpose is that your foot sinks into it into the leather you'll get like your foot imprints on there um and over time they mold to your foot so it's kind of like walking barefoot um as you could see with these that are 18 years old you see my toe prints but if someone else was to slip these on they wouldn't necessarily feel comfortable to them because the way they walk and their gait and the way sh they shift their foot around is not this shoe is not going to be unique to them because it's molded to my foot jacks are the same so without further ado um Let's see, and this packaging, I don't know, like here's a pair of older Jacks. I like the old packaging. 
but whatever. <sighs> They're beautiful. <sighs> so, so pretty. Look how pretty that is. It is the prettiest blush neutral pink. I wouldn't even call it baby pink because it is more of a neutral blush, which is exactly what I wanted. They remind me of the Tory Burch Miller sandal in seashell pink, which I'm also thinking of comparing this one and that one to. Um, but let's see if these fit a little better than the other five and a half that I ordered. And they do say five and a half. Now the old way they used to manufacture these is it used to be handwritten. So it used to be handwritten on the inside and it would say for like a five and a half, it would say five and a dash, meaning five dash means five and a half. And if it was a full size, it would just have five if you were an eight, it would say eight. If you were an eight and a half, it'd say eight dash. But I guess they have gone to um, printing it because these also say 5.5 medium. Um, and let's slip this on. Let's cross my fingers and hope they fit. color is beautiful the length is beautiful but I have to say in all honesty there's still quite a bit of space up here not as much as the other one seems like they're making them larger than they used to be let's try the other one they're beautiful but okay I mean they're not as loose as the others but and the leather is super super malleable and super super soft like oh you can even smell it um which is a quite a, a bit of a different see now these are a little tighter See, this left one is fits well. It's not, it's still not as snug as I'd like it to be because they stretch. Uh, the length is fine. This one, the right one, the length is fine. This ironically is my wider foot. Mm, but this one is still, now there's definitely a heck of a lot better than the other ones that I had ordered. They were, they had much more depth. Um, and they just were not going to be comfortable. Um, but these are the Jack Rogers flats in blush. Just to give you a comparison, these are the Jack Rogers different type of Jack Rogers when I mean, you can see how much more snug they are on my feet and they're also a lot shorter so I don't know if the manufacturing is different or they're supposed to be handmade but this is the second pair I ordered the other thing that is different and I'm wondering if it's just due to ordering a different type of sandal um, this leather is much more um, hard. It's much more firm. So it's just a different type of leather. And I have a couple other jacks that are more like this. This is the first pair of jacks that I ordered that have extremely soft leather. And the writing is different as opposed to this. The other thing... 
that is a little different is look how padded these are. And these are somewhat padded, not very much. The ones that I sent back were, the ones that I sent back were padded like this. <sighs> okay, of course, now I'm having a hot flash. <sighs> I probably will keep these. Paul Jack's flat sandal. Yeah, and the other one, Navajo, uh, no, it's not the Navajo, it's the West Hampton. And then all the other jacks I have are the Navajos. Um, it, they all look the same, they're all shaped the same. I think it's just different colors and then different texture with the leather. The leather reminds me of the Palm Beach sandal. Um, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get changed and wash my face and I'm gonna go out for a run and then um, I'll figure out what I need to do. All right, so that was the unboxing on the uh, Jack Rogers flat sandal in blush.